This is our last morning here, just packing everything up, making some tea and coffee. Got our thumb screws in. And I did a bunch of paintings on the pop top. Mm. Are you having a good morning? Good morning, Layla. Bless you. the solar panel hooked up. There's the charge controller. Uh, I've been testing it every so often. The fridge on. So the fridge is now on and cooling down. I made like a handle. This is kind of a quick handle. And right now I'm loading it up with beer and milk and eggs and all the goodies. I'm so excited to start having a refrigerator on the bus now. Well, anyways, I'm having a semi-cold beer. Not bad after the second one. That was fun last night. Ah, I had three beers. Layla has been chilling out. This house is super cool. The cool thing about it is it's a Florida home. Uh, the downstairs stays a lot cooler. And then the upstairs part, you could open that all up and let the heat out during the summer and have a some sort of a tube or something to draw the cold air from down low. I thought about this. I think I'm going to, uh, I've made a decision that when I turn 80 years old, I'm going to go back to college. And I was thinking if I do, I want to do architecture. It have to be architecture for big things. It could be architecture for tiny homes or stuff like that. Or buses. Good morning. So, uh, I am going to rebuild the carb on the truck today. I did it. Put the fuel filter, unhook the, whether uh, that's the throttle or the choke, both of these cables. There's the throttle. This one's the throttle. This one must be the choke. I'm guessing first things first is to unhook this choke. And I see how it's kind of connected. It's running through this thing. And then this little screw must be holding it. And do that. Maybe this will pull out. Yeah. Maybe I'll tighten it back up so I don't lose that little screw. And then the next one is the throttle. This is obviously the throttle. I think it's the throttle. Could be. Do something else. Do left, and then I can unbolt the carburetor off this little mount. There we go. <laughs> okay. So this, I thought I had to undo this little bolt, no. but Pete said no. This thing actually just pops on mm -hmm. onto this little like round thing. So that was something I was wondering. And this one, I had to hold this nut and un and loosen this one. I got it off though. Here's the carb. I cleaned off this metal piece here so I can work on the carburetor. The next step is to unscrew all of these screws all the way around the perimeter of the top of the carb. This one, this set in just like that, bolts out and they all have little lock washers. Before I can pull this off, this whole piece is connected and I think it's got a little thing here that twists out 
a little notch that if you turn it, it'll come out. But because it's pretty stable, you know, because of this screw, so I'm gonna undo this straight slot. And I think I can get to this once I undo the straight slot. Okay, the washer for this sits right on top of this thing. And it sits like that. It goes right in the keyhole, sort of, and then twists back and sits just like that with the washer. Okay, now I'm into the guts of it. Looks a little rusty in there. Okay, I'm gonna apply a little photo. Now that pin will come out of there. This? Yep. It's a little square pin. That is what's wrong. Okay, so I got the carb rebuild kit. come with little lock washers, so I'm going to set these bolts over here so I know where they are. I'm going to pull this out, and this just drops down, and this has a little gasket, oh, here it is, okay, oh, and, oh, there's the spring, so, the spring goes in this way, small part on the other side. They also gave a new one of these, whatever these are. Is the carburetor fitting there? I don't know. This side we cleaned with carb cleaner, sprayed it off with the jet stuff, took out all the jets, sprayed around. We actually took out this jet right here. And we counted how many turns, how many full turns there were. Pulled that out and sprayed in there with some of this carb cleaner spray. So now this, I took this one. I don't think there's any other rubber sort of gasket seal stuff. Um, I took this little piece out of here. So I'm just going to set all this in this carb cleaner stuff again. Carb is all cleaned and ready to go back together. So now I'm just gonna piece it back the same way that I took it apart. These little um, diaphragms on on either side. Now these are all put back together. And I learned that this has here's these little metal balls, and they go in this hole here. There's one in that one, and there's one in that one. So there's a ball in that one and a ball in that one. And I think, according to the diaphragm, there's a ball in that one and that one. That one? There's also a little rod thing. That little rod thing goes right, see this has this little loop de doo thing, and then there's this one, and each one of these has a ball in it. This one doesn't have the thing, but this one does, and this thing sits right there. Is this new, whatever this is, <coughs> and, oh the memory's getting low, it comes with a little gasket, and it goes right in this hole here this and any of the, hold on, any of the stuff that was in here did not work nothing would fit so not even the new thread goes into there the new needle valve doesn't fit in the old the new needle valve doesn't fit in the old slot so we got a bigger needle valve this is one of the bigger ones and when I looked at the manual it said needle valve only 1965 and up it's showing the bigger one only. It's not saying that you need the whole assembly. It's just showing just the needle valve. So I think that just needs, well, let me clean that up. That's good. Okay. Nice. It is with all of it put together and you can tell the needle valve can't fall out with the float there. Something really bad happened. Um, Pete was putting in this line, the vacuum line, 
and it, the piece, where's that little piece at? It's gone. I'm going to dig it out good. You threw okay. it out? Are you right? sure? Yeah. You might have been able to no, weld there's it. No way. Can't. It busted. The piece of metal just disintegrated when he was trying to put this in. So, we're fucked. Alright, we're resorting to what we kind of don't want to resort to, but it's making it, making us have to. We're having to JB weld it. <laughs> because there, there's no other way around it. You can't do a vacuum advanced or whatever on this one. And the only other way around it is to have to get a whole new carburetor. <sighs> so we're gonna JB weld it together. I ain't gonna touch it. We'll put a glob on the bottom of I ain't it gonna right look now. at it. No so now on, if we gotta rebuild the carb, the whole friggin' thing is coming with it. All that whole line is coming with it. Mm -hmm. He got these uh, poles right here, and I guess he's gonna put the, these in those. I'm not really sure what his plans are, but I am going to be digging holes with. The hole digger. Oh boy. Okay. So Pete showed me how to level his board. I was trying to use a square and he laughed at me. I gotta put it out every day since I don't have a solar panel rack yet. And that's taking it down and it's kind of heavy and clunky and kind of a big thing, you know? And uh, I was thinking about kids of the future, you know? They're gonna look at these old solar panels and be like, oh look, they had these old clunky solar panels and they had to take these old clunky heavy things and, and mount them. Now we can power them and we can power the whole car with our watch. Or like cell phone batteries can power your house. Wow, Bluetooth, solar. Bluetooth solar, yeah. So there we go, guys. We're gonna be the wave of the past. These old glass clunky solar panels. I think they're already starting to get there. They're doing like solar paint or something, weren't they? And solar shingles and. We could put the chair in here. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, the truck is all jacked up and on some blocks, and then he's going to glass it all up. Okay. So I'm going to rip all the edges, cut it out evenly, and then it's ready to go. So Kat helped me to put up the, there's foam underneath the truck to make it stable, and um, anyways. Uh, Pete is glassing with some fiberglass, and I think that's probably going to be it for this weekend, or for this week, and uh, I'll see you guys next week.